Hello everyone and welcome back to Subnautica Where in the last episode we... Well, we got a bunch of blueprints and I died and then in between streams I did a hell ton of grinding And we have a bioreactor And we are planting the blood samples I got my, my CMOD back from the from the blood kill party So that's nice um, yeah, I have now three power cell chargers in my base because sadly I cannot have them in the uh, Cyclops. Uh, what else? There's blood kill growing down in the uh, outdoor growing area. And I got a bunch of uh, ogres for the brown and the Cyclops. So, yeah. Progress! Um, yeah. Let's see, Stasis Rifle. Mm -hmm. I should probably get some fish and salt them or something. Can you preserve plants? Like. Actually, it doesn't matter. I planted stuff right. in my cyclops, so it should be fine. Uh, where did it um. Oh, you still have that upper area? Yeah, because it's nice to have the the solar panels up top. They give more power. I mean, the bio reactor is more of an emergency thing. But I did move all of the storage down so I can expand the top area if I ever want to make more solar panels. Yeah. Um, I think the last thing that you need currently is the Cyclops thermal reactor. Yeah, that would be a nice thing to have. Because, let's see, there's my plants growing here in the Cyclops. There's the brown suit that currently has the drill arm, the grappling arm, and the hole reinforcement. Just in case, you know. And the modules in the Cyclops are the engine efficiency module. The dead module MK1 and the shield generator. Shield generator's nice. Yep. Definitely. Fire suppression system's also pretty nice. The what? Uh, fire suppression system. Yeah. But, uh, if you catch on fire. Yeah, but you know, I don't know how to make crystalline sulfur yet. So that's a bit of a problem. I could make the cycle of stocking Bay Reaper module. But I, I could just use the repair hey, tool, so it's uh, Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna wanna want um, other things in there. Mm-hmm. Kinda of figured that's why you haven't how, made it yet. How high level is your uh, depth module? MK1. You're gonna need more. Yeah, I kinda figured. That reminds me. Um, oh yeah, uh, nine. Do I have enough to just... You just need nickel. You just need nickel and plastic. I have not found nickel other than the one I found in the time capsule. Oh, uh, I know why you haven't found Nickel. <laughs> I'm going to use that as a spoiler. Uh, it's in a biome you haven't been to yet. Uh, makes sense. Uh, what am I missing for a computer chip? Table core sample. Of course it's the table core sample. It's always the table core sample. In case you're wondering, I'm just doing this because I realized, oh yeah, I should probably make an item upgrade bench inside the Cyclops as well. Yeah, it's, it's useful. Um, you did see that all of those lockers down below were actually storage. Um, like, if you go down the ladder in the front, there's actually storage down there. Like, quite a bit of it. Like when you first walk in, 
everything to the right. Yeah. All those locker looking areas to the right. First one came. Okay, so. Oh, oh, those side lockers. That's a lot of storage. Nice. Then again, I can also still just build more storage. So that's not exactly an issue. Yeah, but I mean, it's just nice to have that yeah. there. Anyway, fabricator. I did uh, one of the quality of life mods I have that I forgot to mention last time is... I think I forgot to mention it. It's one that basically lets fabricators pull from nearby storage containers. Yeah. It's, it's nice. It doesn't really bother with the game, it just saves time going through the various um, interfaces and stuff. Oh, hello Recon Big Mesh. Welcome to the stream. Big Mesh? Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Anyway, modification station built. Cyclos upgrades. Yeah, most thing I'm missing is just nickel. I mean, I also need to make plastic, but that shouldn't be too difficult. And you made everything for the um, arm, or for the the drill and everything. Yeah, I have the drill arm and the grappling arm installed in the drone. The drill arm is just uh, very useful. Useful for collecting lots of resources. Also, you know, for defending yourself. And the grapple arms, like the most fun movement in the game. Right. Um... Silent running is probably a good idea. Oh, so that's how the actual generator works. Good to know. Cameras. You know, I probably should have waited for it to be daytime. Yeah, probably. But I mean, it's fine. Yeah. Do you know where to go? Uh, that's exactly what I was about to check. First of all, <laughs> become manager. Map is really useful. I mean, I do. It's not going to tell me where I have to go, but at least it's going to tell me where I am and what I'm looking at. Okay. Anyway, uh, data bank, data downloads, codes and clues. There it is. 800 meters down. What do you have? The... Did you get the normal thing? Nope. What is it? Uh, Grand Reef, Wreck, Mountain, Wreck, Mushroom Forest, Wreck. Okay. I can probably go to the Mushroom Forest. Maybe. And let's see, the base it's in, in a cave system with extensive fossil records southwest of the enforcement platform. So, southwest of the mountain biome. That's where you're headed. Yep. But first, let's take the Simo and go to the Motion Forest, right? Hmm. Don't forget to turn off the engine on your back ops. I made a mistake last stream yeah, okay. and, I, and I came back with no power, so <laughs> I'm not making that mistake again. I also have like 12 power cells just stored in the, in the storage next to the power area. Because I'm probably going to need them. Okay. Um, so, if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah, we did have a map, didn't we? Um, yeah, the only motion forest biome that has a wreck is the one that's right next to the dunes! Yay! I'll be fine, right? Maybe? Oh, 
At least I know where I have to go since I have already found Lifepot 13, which is in the same biome. You won't be able to make it yet, the thermal thing, but you'll know what you'll need to make it. Yeah, that's probably very useful. So I'm supposed to go... Hey, at least the sub is pointing in the right direction. Apparently. But yeah, I just have to... Yeah? Yeah, like that. I just used the map to reactivate the beacon for life 13 and I'm heading that way now. It is nice that you can just reactivate the beacons, even in... even normally. It's just easier to locate them or identify them like this. This should be getting close to the mushroom forest. Yep, definitely the mushroom forest. But it's not that beacon. I mean, it's not that rake. According to the map you sent me, it should be somewhere in this direction. Just going to start by staying as far away from the dunes as possible. <laughs> While still staying in the motion first. Oh hey, sandstone. I might as well grab that, I always seem to need more silver. And it's lead. Oh well. Maybe I should have just brought resources to build a base over here. Or maybe I should have just brought the Cyclops over here. I mean, it's not that dangerous, not on the surface at least. What's that? So what's that? Oh, it's lithium. Well, I need lithium anyway. Seriously, what's that weird plant with tentacles on top? I scan it, can you scan the thing? No, you can't, so it's not a thing that exists according to the game. Right! Oh yeah, that reminds me. I might as well scan these things. The glowy manta rays or whatever. Jelly ray, yeah. They're not dangerous, right? Do what? I just remember to scan a jelly ray. Ah, yeah. Because I keep forgetting that's a thing to do. It is nice that there's a, a layout for the map mode that just colors the biomes on the map. That way I don't have to keep on alt having to... <laughs> Okay, so there's supposedly a wreck here, and I don't see it, and that bothers me. Wreck, 120 meters down. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm too far down for the wreck. <laughs> Oh, I see now. The wreck is on top of the mushrooms. Well, that makes things safer at least. I hope. And you're looking for a data box. I figured. Those kinds of those kind of important things that aren't too huge are usually in data boxes. Especially modules. Oh, 
Oh well, that seems like a good enough place to... Oh hey, another propulsion cannon fragment. I'm probably going to... Titanium. Yeah, I'm probably going to end up finding... <laughs> Uh, so much titanium, I'll actually be able to build a base here. I'm gonna drive my Simot a bit closer. That way I don't die from lack of oxygen again. Power transmitter fragment, of which I only needed one. Oh, there's a... Nope, that's not a way... Portal in. This one is too. Oh look, another propulsion cannon fragment! And a light stick fragment? Huh, a light what? stick fragment. Oh yeah, light stick, light light stick sort of thing. I forgot about those. Are they useful in any way? They make light. Fair enough. Well, I got wood fra fragments for that, so progress. They're good for lighting up your base. That's about yeah, it. That sounds right. Hmm. There don't seem to be any other way south from this one. So maybe I need to find another entrance. Oh well, hello Seamot. Time to find another entrance, I suppose. Doesn't seem to be there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I see an entrance. Hello, you. Oh, I could have also have just gone in from underneath. Oh well. So there's two ways over here. Let's start by going up. Up the open door. Well, the unlocked door, I suppose. Now it's open. Oh, hello, data box. Cyclops thermal reactor module. Also, abandon the DDA. Okay, so they were never planning on actually finding the Degasi here, even if they were technically looking for them. Anything else to find over here? Um, doesn't really seem like it. Just yes, sick fluid, ain't I guy? No. Well, that seems to be it, really. It wasn't that much to find. <laughs> but we found the important stuff. Right, back to the same mode and let's check what the blueprint is. Yes, yes, we also got the life stick, I remember. 
Probably not near the Asia soon. Cyprus of Knights. Kaya Knight. Oh boy. Yeah, I get the feeling I'm not finding that anytime soon. Eh, uh, actually fairly soon, oh. yes. So is it time to go for the alien base now? Yeah, you're pretty much prepared at this point. Just make sure you have all of the stuff to craft all of the things. You have plenty of resources on board. Oh yeah, that's a good point. I should at least bring a bunch of titanium, right? So I can build base. And polyanoline. That was... I'm trying to remember what I meant that with. I think I have yet to scan a sound shark now that I think about it. Or maybe I have. Mm, oh well. Guess I'll find that soon. Eventually. Whatever. Me. There's something really important I should be doing as well. At least once I get back to the base. That is time to self scan. Nothing new. Oh well. Oh, my inventory is full. I should bring... Are you alright? Yeah, I just died. I wasn't quite by it. Hey, Bella. Right. Poly... A million. Requires hydrochloric acid, which requires six rooms. So I need a bunch of that, right? You need a little bit of it. You might want to check the... Okay. I don't know your exact amounts of what all you're wanting to craft. I mean, they should... You're also going to want tablets, to, or the ability to craft tablets. So, okay, bring my tablet screen. Okay. I mean, you're going to see an alien yeah. base, so... Huh? Okay, so I probably don't need the lithium. Are I on oh, hi, Doc. Yes. 100% Where renewable. do you get them, though? Like, do you find, like, an alien farm or something? Hmm. E e e technically, yes. That's kind of cool, actually. Alright, I can't actually craft more tablets out of the ion cubes, uh, so I guess I need a different thing. Probably from the. Well, you're gonna wanna bring the resources you just do. Yeah, I kind of feel I'm just going through the. See, iron cubes and diamonds. That's not too bad. I have. You know, besides the I diamonds. I have plenty of diamonds. Yeah, they're actually supposed to be rare. Is there oh. magnetite at the proposed Degasi habitat? The first one? Yes. Plenty of it. Are you talking about the um, one in the jelly shroom? Yeah. Yeah, there should be magnetite on huh. there. I actually must have been throwing away some of the diamonds because I'm low on them now. Oh well. I'm sure I'll find out more next time I go okay. looking for lithium. That, that's the thing though, you don't you don't throw away diamonds, not in that game. Yeah, well, at the moment it's I really, really need lithium and I didn't have the space. Anyway, 
I'm going to place a bunch of titanium on this one. Can I name it? I cannot. I'll name it as well. What'd you name your? What'd you name everything by the way around? Mm -hmm. Well, my cycle. Like your see, my cyclops is named Hope because I thought it was a rocket. My brown is named Gigadrill because, of course, it is. Honestly, I'm not disappointed. I had a speed upgrade in here. The upgrades last a finite amount of time. No. <laughs> Dog, you broke the game. Wait, speed upgrade? For what? For the Simot? The Simot has a speed upgrade? Uh, well, I can definitely say they don't run out. I mean, the Seamoth is already hands down the fastest way to move the game. To go any faster would be absolutely not. Uh, I'd say the Cyclops is a bit faster. Uh, no. no especially it's not. not with how much power it uses. Also, Billy, you don't use the Cyclops at full speed. No, none of that. You do, just until you get the engine starting to overheat more than you. No! Anyway, what does, what does it do in here? Oh yeah, yeah, getting resources. Let's bring a bit more titanium. Five more? Sure. Um, three quarts because I might need it for building a base or something. I don't know. Gold and silver. Uh, I probably need to upgrade the prawn suit to jump jet. You can't do that till later. Mm, you must go should deeper I also bring ruby sand or magnetite? You think you'll need it? Because I don't remember. So then I should take my sea moth because I don't know if the uh, jump jets are enough to get my uh, prawn suit out of the Nagasi habitat. You have the grapple arm yet? Them. So, definitely renewable. Wait, what do you mean emergency power only? Is your nuclear reactor on? No, I meant the site. I mean the site. It doesn't have a nuclear reactor. I mean. Oh, are you loading in? No, no. I meant the site left, and I left the engine down. So. Why is it out of power? I left the engine offline! You see it spinning in the upper right? No, like I literally just turn it, up, turn it on and back on and just to confirm its power level, but it's 0% for reasons. I know the lights, the inside lights also drain power, but not too bad. Huh, I don't think they would have run out that quickly then. 